Ladies first, here are your nominees for the Naperville Sports Weekly Female Athlete of the Year, as voted on by the NSW staff. Sheila Doyle, Bennett Academy Volleyball. In volleyball, defense isn't considered sexy. Big hitters get the majority of the attention, but there's no questioning Doyle's skill on the defensive end, and 375 digs only tells part of the story. The 5'5 UNC signee was one of only four players returning from Bennett's 2011 state championship squad. Along with setter Hannah Kaminsky, Doyle brought stability to an inexperienced team that became the first back-to-back -back big class volleyball state champions in 17 years. And it's hard to win a state title. It takes lots and lots of work. And they understand that. And they were able to bring that mentality and show everybody else, if we want to do this, there's only one way, and that's to outwork everybody in the state. And we were able to, we were able to do that. All state, all American, and team captain. Not letting the ball hit the floor has gotten Doyle recognized. I think that what makes them most dangerous is uh, their Libro, Sheila Doyle, and their Sada Hannah. And Sheila is probably one of the best Libros that I've seen in the state. Holly Julips, Matia Valley Track and Field. Coming into the girls' track and field season, Julips' name wasn't toward the top of the performance list or predictions statewide when it came to the top throwers. But after a sophomore season, she's put Illinois on notice. City champion in the shot put and fifth place in the state with the discus. It's all icing on the cake for the Mustang. I just wanted to get a medal this year. Be on track, hopefully medal again next year. Just getting fifth was just amazing in my eyes. <laughs> Keegan Hayes, Naperville Central Softball. To borrow the words of Red Hawk coach Andy Nussbaum, hitting Hayes was like trying to eat soup with a fork. In the circle, the NIU commit won her first 20 decisions and gave up just one unearned run in a stretch of 58 innings. She finished with a 1-5-3 ERA and 168 strikeouts for a Red Hawk team that won its first conference title in 24 years. Oh yeah, she can hit two, to the tune of a 330 average with eight doubles and 21 ribbies. Keegan had a, a pretty good year last year and she's uh, a year older um, and I think, I think she's grown a lot mentally. Zoe Swift, Naperville North Soccer. What do you do when the other team's focus is to stop you? For Swift, the answer was, don't let them. The three-time All-Stater always showed up in the big moments for the state champion Huskies, scoring five goals in two sectional games and two in the state title game. The totals for 2013, 15 goals, nine assists, Illinois Gatorade Player of the Year and state champion. Zoe's such a special player and the sky's the limit for her. And uh, I couldn't be happier for her to end her career her, such a phenomenal career in such a phenomenal fashion tonight because um, she deserves that and uh, you know we're gonna miss her dearly but you know she's definitely left her stamp on the program. Gia D'Alessandro, Niqua Valley Swimming. After finishing in the top six in two events but without a title in 2011, this season brought an event change for D'Alessandro, a future Indiana Hoosier, and the Wildcat senior came out a-blazing in the pool in Evanston. 20253 in her new event, the 200 IM, brought her one state medal. But De Lissandro wanted more, finishing first in the 100 fly and 53-4-4, the fourth fastest time in IHSA history. PRs and two relay splits helped the Wildcats finish third. I think every every great and talented swimmer has that just natural feel for the water that she definitely has. But it's it's definitely what she does uh, every day at practice. You know, she just kills it every day. Julia Bond, Wabonzi Valley Bowling. Our last nominee tasted perfection twice this season, rolling two 300 games within 11 days of one another. The three-time all-conference bowler finished fourth at the state meet with a 26-34 pinfall, all the while helping lead Wabonzi to its first ever bowling state title. After all this work, then it pays off. It's just like a wave of just like, wow, like it, it happened. Now we can relax and now we can just say that we did it. We're state champs. Six very deserving ladies, but the award can only go to one, and the winner is Gia De La Sandro, Niqua Valley Swimming.